Welcome to Old Harbor. I am Chef Melissa Byrne. This is Traditional Foods Contemporary Chef Kodiak Edition. I'm Chef Melissa Burns and today I'm going to make for you a Nunyak Bear Braise. Um, we have some wonderful bear meat here that was taken during the springtime. It was one of our subsistence harvest bears here in Old Harbor and um, we're allowed two of those a year and I was fortunate enough to get some of the meat for us. I am going to first make a dry rub. I have a teaspoon each of salt, fennel, pepper, paprika, and some um, parsley that I am going to mix up. And I'm gonna rub this dry rub on this bare roast. We're gonna first start off by browning it, and then after we brown it, we're gonna add some low sodium beef stock so that it can get rid of this here. I'm gonna turn on my, my burner here, and you wanna make sure that you're cooking this in a pan that you can seal off with a lid so that the moisture does not escape. It'll keep inside there and allowing your roast to slowly cook and retain its moisture. I've got about two tablespoons of olive oil that I've just added. Okay, now that we have our pan up to temperature, I'm gonna go ahead and add our bear roast. And you'll want to be careful. You'll want to put this in away from you so if that any oils splash up, they do not get on you. And I have my heat here, medium to high. You're going to want to make sure you get a nice browning on it. This should take a couple minutes for both sides. Okay, I think we're nice and brown on that side. I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. I just recently started cooking with bear meat in the last couple of years, and at first I was a little intimidated by it, but have found that as with most other wild game, um, I can cook it as I do with any other beef product um, that I'm cooking, whether it be steaks or roasts or um, your um, tenderloins. You can cook the, cook the bear meat the same way that you would with any type of beef product. I have this nicely browned now, so I'm gonna add my one cup of reduced sodium beef stock. My two bay leaves. That adds some great flavor. You're gonna to wanna to re reduce your temperature here. Kicking. Add your tablespoon of garlic, and then I'm gonna cover this and let it continue to cook on low heat for half an hour to 45 minutes. Okay, so our bear roast has been braising for about 45 minutes. You can see all the steam in there that's been captured. Look at that. We got this nice brown coloring. And you're gonna wanna set it and let it rest for a good 10 minutes before you cut it up so that your juices can reconcentrate back. And in the meantime, I'm gonna pull out the bay leaves here. And with the rest of the liquid that is that remains in here, we're gonna make a little sauce, a little reduction sauce. And again, I'm adding a quarter cup of low fat sour cream. You can do other things like adding a low fat yogurt if that's the flavor that you're looking for or you can thicken it up with maybe some cornstarch or you can add nothing at all it's a great light sauce that can go right over the top so here we have our liquid which has reduced in half i'm going to go ahead and shut off the heat and add my sour cream mix this up as you can see, it's a nice, rich liquid that's in there. I'm gonna take 
a little bear roast here, which has been resting. I'm gonna cut it up into medallions. I've made some wild rice here, which will pair greatly with this dish. I'm going to take some of my sauce and drizzle it right over the top. There you have it, some Nunez Bear Braids.